Good morning, it's Jeremy. It's December the 15th, Wednesday, and it's kind of a gloomy day outside. And today we're looking at using the RTL SDR for receiving AM on a GNU radio. Now, previously in the last post, we looked at the RTL with the Raspberry Pi 4. Um, we can run GNU radio uh, on the Raspberry Pi 4, or today I'm just running it on a laptop. The reason being is that for AM reception, I need uh, I need a big antenna, and unfortunately, uh, our balcony is closed off in the apartment, so I can't get outside and put up an HF antenna. So what I'm doing actually is, I've got a little whip antenna, which is really no good for AM or HF, but I'm actually clipped it. I've clipped it to the window frame. There's a huge window, uh, metal window frame, and I'm using that as an antenna. <clears throat> Remember for AM, if we if we think of AM, let's say around one megahertz, that means it has a wavelength of 300 meters. So you need you need either a loop antenna with a lot of turns or uh, a long wire to receive some signals. Anyways, here's the setup. So I've got an RTL version two uh, with an SMA connector. Now I'm using an up converter. So this up converter takes the input signal and it bumps it up by 125 megahertz. So when you're receiving it, what you need to do is instead of looking for a signal, let's say at uh, 680 kilohertz, you'd have to look at it at uh, 125 plus 680 kilohertz, okay, because it's been bumped up in frequency. So that's the setup I'm using. I've just got a USB hub. I'm powering the um, up converter from the USB. There's a frequency display. I can increase the volume here. Face the media this afternoon. So right now we're receiving AM680. So let's go over to the uh, screen and we'll use Camtasia. Okay, so we're looking at uh, GNU Radio Companion. This is the latest version, 3.8 for Windows. Uh, in the previous post, we used the Raspberry Pi. Uh, it also can run GNU radio, so this could equally well run on the Raspberry Pi. The reason I'm using my laptop is I have to be close to uh, uh, my balcony window here because I'm actually using the window frame as an antenna. I can't get outside, so I need a fairly uh, large wire or a loop of some sort to receive AM. So that's why I'm uh, just running on the laptop here. So let's look at the schematic here. Um, <clears throat> there's the RTL source. Uh, all you have to do is it, to look for these components, basically, is those are all the components on the right. Just type in what you need on the search button, and you'll come up with the RTL source. So I just use the default settings. I'm sampling at 2.4 megahertz. Okay, so that means that I can look 2.4 megahertz either side of the carrier. Now, what I've done here is I've created a range. Uh, for the AM band, let's say from 550 kilohertz up to 1.7 megahertz, default at 640 kilohertz. I'm stepping in 10, kilo, 10 kilohertz instruments, and <clears throat> uh, I've got a volume control on there. I've also defined a variable called shift. So in here for the uh, frequency, what I've got is the um, center frequency from here, plus I've added the shift. Okay, because remember we're using the up converter. So we have to, let's say if we're looking for a signal at 640 kilohertz, I'm really looking for it at 125 megahertz plus 640 kilohertz. So there we go. Uh, so that's the output of the uh, RTL block is INQ streams. That's what the blue means. It's complex. So I'll look at the frequency spectrum there. And I'm putting in a low pass filter. Uh, typically uh, in the AM band, if you look at the uh, AM signals, they're fairly strong and they look like they have like 10 kilohertz content either side. So I've got a fairly wide filter here. It cuts off at 15K with a trans gradual transition, transition of 2.5 kilohertz. I've adjusted the rational resampling. So at the end of the day, um, the audio on my laptop, or yeah, my audio on my laptop is 48 kilohertz. And there's the volume control. Now in the blog post, if you look at the blog post, I've got the math in there. So all we need for an AM uh, demodulator is simply a complex uh, to magnitude uh, converter. So basically I'm taking the I, I square it, I take the cube uh, pulses, I square them, I add them together and take the square root. And that's basically all I, all I need for uh, an AM demodulator. Let's, um, <clears throat> let's run this and see what happens. So I don't have any highlighted red items, which means that everything seems to be okay for now. So I'll run this, look down here, and then I shall hit the run button. So there we go. We're at 640 kilohertz. Let's go up to 680. It's a little bit uh, 
stronger. There's 60, 680 kilohertz. Uh, that is the spectrum around 680 kilohertz. And there's the whole uh, AM band down there. Those are the two um, frequency responses.